students now we solve some problems on groups first one is prove that the set of integers z is an abelian group with respect to the operation asterisk defined by asterisk b equals to a plus b plus 2 for all a comma b belongs to z first verify closer law let a comma b belongs to z then asterisk b equals to a plus b plus 2 is also belongs to z for all a b belongs to z therefore closer law is satisfied next associative law let a b share any three elements which are belongs to z that implies a asterisk b asterisk c equals to a asterisk b asterisk c consider a asterisk b a asterisk of b asterisk c from our definition a asterisk b plus c plus 2 by simplify this a plus b plus c plus 2 plus 2 that equals to a plus b plus c plus 4 that is equation 1 now a asterisk b asterisk c equals to from our definition a asterisk b is nothing but a plus b plus 2 asterisk c by simplify this a plus b plus 2 plus c plus 2 that equals to a plus b plus c plus 4 that is equation 2 from 1 on 2 a asterisk b asterisk c is equals to a asterisk b asterisk c for, for all a b c belongs to z therefore associative law is satisfied next one is identity law let e is the identity element therefore a asterisk e equals to a asterisk a that equals to a therefore a asterisk e equals to a from our definition a asterisk e is nothing but a plus e plus 2 that equals to a by by cancellation a then we get e plus 2 e equals to 0 that implies e equals to minus 2 therefore e equals to minus 2 is the identity element in z next verify inverse law let a belongs to z that implies a asterisk a inverse equals to e from our definition a asterisk a inverse is nothing but a plus a inverse plus 2 e equals to minus 2 therefore a inverse e equals to minus a minus 4 every element of z has inverse in z next commutative law let a comma b belongs to z then a asterisk b equals to a plus b plus 2 which is also equals to b plus a plus 2 that is nothing but b asterisk a therefore a asterisk b equals to b asterisk a for all a b belongs to z therefore commutative law is satisfied next we next we solve second problem we prove that set of rational numbers q naught is an a, as a is a abelian group with respect to asterisk defined by asterisk b equals to a b by 3 first verify closer law let a comma b belongs to q naught then a asterisk b equals to a b by 3 which is also belongs to q naught for a comma b belongs to q naught here a comma b belongs to q naught that implies a b belongs to q naught for all a b by 3 is also belongs to q naught associative law let a comma b comma c is also belongs to q naught consider a asterisk b asterisk c equals to a asterisk b c by 3 from our definition a asterisk bc by 3 is nothing but abc by 9 abc by 9 can be written as ab by 3 dot c by 3 again from our definition a ab by 3 is nothing but a asterisk b that equals to a asterisk b asterisk c therefore associative law is uh, satisfied next verify existence of identity element let e is the identity element in q naught a asterisk e equals to a from our definition a asterisk e is nothing but a e by 3 that e equals to a by cancellation a then we get e equals to 3 therefore e equals to 3 is the identity element next verify existence of inverse existence of inverse element let a belongs to q naught a inverse is the element of g that implies a asterisk a inverse equals to a that implies from our definition a asterisk a inverse is nothing but a inverse by 3 a inverse by 3 equals to 3 by cross multiplication then we get uh, 
a inverse equals to 9. That implies a inverse equals to 9 by a, which is also belongs to Q0 because 9 by a is a rational number. Since uh, a is not equals to 0, therefore 9 by a is the inverse of a in Q0. Therefore, every element of Q0 has an inverse in Q0. Next, verify commutative law. Let a comma b belongs to Q0 by given condition a asterisk b equals to ab by 3 which is also equals to ba by 3 n. This can be written as b asterisk a. Therefore, commutative law is satisfied. Hence, all the properties of an abelian group is satisfied. Therefore, Q0 asterisk is an abelian group. Next, we can solve next third problem. Show that the set of real numbers except one is an abelian group with respect to the operation asterisk such that a asterisk b equals to a plus b minus a b for a comma b belongs to g is an abelian group and hence prove that x equals to 3 by 2 is a solution of the equation 4 asterisk 5 asterisk x equals to 7. First verify closure law. Let a asterisk b equals to a plus b minus a b. Here a comma b belongs to r minus singleton 1. Single r minus singleton 1 means uh, except 1 remaining all real numbers. Then a strict b equals to a plus b minus a b which is also belongs to r. Therefore closure law is satisfied. Next verify associative law. Let a b share any three elements which are belongs to r minus singleton 1. From our definition a strict uh, b strict c equals to a strict B asterisk C is nothing but B plus C minus BC. By simplify, A plus of B plus C minus BC minus A of B plus C minus BC. Again simplify this. A plus B plus C minus BC minus AB minus AC plus ABC. This is equation 1. Again consider A asterisk B asterisk C. From our definition, A asterisk B is nothing but A plus B minus AB. Is A asterisk C. Again, by using given uh, given condition, a plus b minus a b plus c minus of a plus b minus a b of c. By simplify this, a plus b minus a b plus c minus a c minus b c plus a b c. Again, simplify this. Again, simplify this. a plus b plus c minus b c minus a b minus a c plus a b c. This is also equation two from one and two which are equal a asterisk of b asterisk c equals to a asterisk b asterisk c. Therefore, associative law is satisfied. Next, existence of identity element. a asterisk e equals to a. From our definition, a asterisk a e is nothing but a plus e minus a e. e equals to a. By cancellation a, then e minus a e equals to 0. Take common e. That implies e of 1 minus a equals to 0. We know that a b equals to 0. That implies either a equals to 0 or b equals to 0. In the same way, e of 1 minus a equals to 0, e equals to 0 or a equals to 1. But uh, neglected due to our condition, uh, therefore e equals to 0 is the identity element. Next one is uh, existence of inverse element. Let uh, let A belongs to R minus singleton 1 and uh, A inverse is the inverse element of A. A asterisk A inverse equals to E. From our definition, A asterisk A inverse equals to A plus A inverse minus A inverse equals to 0. A plus, uh, take common A inverse. A plus A inverse of 1 minus A equals to 0. But you want A, A equals to a inverse of a minus 1. Therefore, a inverse equals to a by a minus 1, which is not which is not equals to 1, which is also belongs to r minus singleton 1. Therefore, a by a minus 1 is the inverse element. Therefore, every element of r minus singleton 1 has an inverse. Next, verify commutative law. Let a be or any two elements which are belongs to r minus singleton 1. A asterisk B equals to A plus B minus AB that is also equals to B plus A minus BA is nothing but B asterisk A. Therefore, A asterisk B equals to B asterisk A for all AB belongs to R minus singleton 1. 
therefore commutative law is satisfied all the properties of an abelian group is sat satisfied hence uh, r minus uh, single term one asterisk is an abelian group consider 4 asterisk 5 asterisk x equals to 7 4 as the that implies 4 asterisk 5 asterisk x equals to 7 from our definition 4 asterisk 5 is nothing but 4 plus 5 minus 4 into 5 asterisk x uh, simplify this 4 plus 5 9 in the same way 4 5 is a 20 9 minus 20 asterisk x equals to 7 that implies 9 minus 20 is equals to minus 11 minus 11 asterisk x equals to 7 again by using given condition minus 11 asterisk x is nothing but minus 11 plus x plus 11x equals to 7 11x plus x is equals to 12x minus 11 take into right side then 7 plus 11 is equals to 18 12x equals to 18 that implies x equals to 18 by 12 that implies by simplify this x equals to 3 by 2 is the result Now we will discuss uh, theorems on groups. First one is prove that cancellation laws hold in a group. If uh, ABC belongs to G, then AB equals to AC, that implies B equals to C, left cancellation. And uh, BA equals to CA, that implies B equals to C, right cancellation. Proof. Consider AB equals to AC. Take A inverse on both sides, then we get A inverse of AB equals to A inverse of AC, where A inverse is the inverse of A. That implies A inverse A of B equals to A inverse A of C. A inverse A is nothing but E. That implies EB equals to EC, where E is a identity. That implies B equals to C. That implies AB equals to AC. That implies B equals to C. Therefore, left cancellation law is satisfied. Consider BA equals to CA. Take A inverse on both sides. BA of A inverse equals to CA of A inverse. That implies B of A inverse equals to C of A inverse. A inverse is nothing but E. That implies BE equals to CE. That implies B equals to C. That implies B A equals to C A. That implies B equals to C. Therefore, right cancellation law is satisfied. Next, we will discuss uh, discuss next theorem. A finite semi-group satisfying cancellation laws is a group. Let G dot is a finite semi-group containing n distant elements. Distant means uh, different elements. Let G equals to set of A1, A2, A3, so on N. That is, all the elements of G are distant. That is, no two elements of G are equal. Let uh, A belongs to G by closure law. Uh, by multiplying with uh, A, uh, the above, above set. Then we get uh, A1, A2, so on N, which are also belongs to G. Let, if possible, a i equals to a a j for i is not equals to j by left cancellation a i equals to a j this is a contradiction that all elements of g are distant therefore a i is not equals to a a j for i is not equals to j all the products of a a 1 a 2 so on a n or distant elements in G. This is possible if these products are similar to the elements A1, A2, A3, so on A in a different order. That is, uh, every product is equal to some element of G and uh, every element of G is equal to some product. 